Mi'kmaq communities have always maintained they have a right to fish and sell their catch, but most haven't been able to legally do that until now. This is a new approach to say we don't need to go to the license route. Uh, we can do things based on communities developing through their own self-government, their own plans. Last year, the Sebeganegadi First Nation clashed with non-Indigenous commercial fishers after the Mi'kmaq started fishing outside the commercial season. The Mi'kmaq have a treaty right to fish for a moderate livelihood, a right reaffirmed by the Supreme Court of Canada 22 years ago. But the court also gave the government the right to regulate that, and not all communities are negotiating the same. Now four, not including Sebag and Egety, have reached an understanding with the Department of Fisheries and Oceans. The individual uh, harvesters uh, who will be operating with the 70 traps, they get their authority and their tags and so forth from the communities themselves. It is not a formal written agreement, but rather an interim understanding to get fishers on the water now. I'm still the Minister of Fisheries and Oceans until the new minister is sworn in. Bernadette Jordan, who many say lost her seat over this issue, says the group will manage 3,500 lobster traps within the federally regulated season. So these are all traps that have already been accounted for. It's not new additional traps. We're really happy and we're really supportive of the agreement and we're eager to move forward side by side with our Indigenous partners on the water this fall. But it does not solve everything. The communities under the plan believe more needs to be done to increase access to the fishery. And for Sebeganegadi, the community at the center of the violence that erupted last fall, there's been no progress at all. Kayla Hounsel, CBC News, Halifax.